What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us on another episode of Honest Diecast. Today we are back at the customization station. I wanted to get back into a couple of customizing videos for you guys just to help you guys get started. So yeah, let's get into it. So what I like to do today is I like to take a car and I think we're gonna do Nova Wagon Gasser. But what I like to do is I like to, I like to drill it and open it up and then do some really simple stuff to it just to make it a little bit better and a little bit nicer than the way that it is right now. The way that I feel about it is when I find a casting that I really, really like and I really enjoy and that I really want, usually the more that I look at it, the more I can find things that I would want to change on it or things I would do differently. I think this is a great opportunity for you just getting into customs to think about doing just to get started, just to get your feet wet. Uh, the last thing you want to do when you get into customs is to overwhelm yourself because obviously you want to build confidence. You want to create finished projects. You want results. Each time you finish a car, you want your confidence to build. So in my opinion, the approach that I, that I think is the best way to approach customizing is to start off small. Um, we see a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of people on Facebook, Instagram. We see a lot of people just creating amazing products. But the thing that they share in common is they didn't start that way right off the bat. They got their feet wet. They did small things. First of all, they made sure that they wanted to get into this hobby and they wanted to do this. And then once they knew that they wanted to, then they worked on their skills got their comfort level up and then started getting really extravagant with their projects. That's what I want you to do. That's what I think would be the best way to get started customizing. So I hope that this video helps. Let's take this and let's drill her open. So we got our 64 Nova Wagon Gasser all drilled out. So let's open her up. There's that. That and that. So upon drilling, I realized that I got an error. An error one. The grill is all messed up right here and the headlights are actually not even non they're just non-existent. They're not even there. It's kind of weird. So I am going to go find another one and get a different interior piece. All right, now that we got it all drilled apart, let's go ahead and tap it so that we can reattach the base using screws. So we got our 64 Nova wagon all drilled and tapped, got the screws in there, everything test fit, everything's good. So let's pull it back apart and we'll start working on swapping the wheels. For this video and for exhibition purposes, I decided to use the Boulevard Copo Camaro as our wheel donor. Um, great wheel setup. I think it'll work perfect on this. So we'll go ahead and use these. Alrighty, so now that we got our real rider donors pulled off of its donor car um, we got the factory wheels pulled off of the nova wagon gasser we are going to fit the real riders onto the 64 nova wagon now we're going to have to make two sets of custom axles here there's actually two options you can do with this gasser 
you can actually if you wanted to you could space these out and you can use the factory the factory axle um, if you put some body spacers in there but I'm actually okay with the thinner stance like so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this factory axle to make a custom axle I'm just gonna cut it a little bit shorter and then crimp the ends and then for the rear our rear is just slightly too wide so I'm probably not gonna be able to crimp both ends of this so I'm just gonna make a whole new axle for the rear and this is the stuff that I am going to use to make those axles if you can't find this stuff locally I will leave a link below to, in the description where you can purchase this
So we're all done with the first bit of our process, um, which is the wheel swap for the vehicle. Um, looks really great as it is. Um, came out really, really well. These, wheel, these wheels fit absolutely perfect with this vehicle, which was expected. So here's the look of the stock one, the factory one. And here's the look of the wheel swapped 64 Nova. So that's a great first start right there to making a casting that you like a lot look just a little bit better. So I'll take some still pictures and I'll post them as I'm talking um, just in case the video doesn't do it justice. Um, but I'm really excited for this uh, video series just showing you basic stuff that you can do to castings that you like just to make them a little bit better. Probably on next episode, we'll do, um, we'll do either body detailing or interior detailing. Um, so we'll do one of those two. That'll be the next step to, to getting this casting um, looking even better. Um, and then we'll go from there. But this will be a small uh, video series, probably a four or five part video series, just showing you how to do these things. And as mentioned, it's all about baby steps. When you first get into this, it's baby steps. Don't look forward to doing, you know, a custom molded wide body and, and things of that nature right off of the bat. Just get your feet wet, uh, figure out what you can and can't do, what you're already good at and what you need improvement on and just work from there. Everything else will work itself out. From there, depending on your motivation, you can start expanding and experimenting with your projects as you get more comfortable. So anyways, I hope this helps. The how-to on how to wheel swap your vehicle. Stay tuned for next episode where we'll make this 64 Nova Wagon Gasser look even better. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.